we have a scene showing pedestrians who we want to track using surveillance analytics. With Media Server's visual training page, we can load classifiers to detect common objects such as cars, people, and motorbikes. Then we are able to run the analytics using Media Server's process action on this sample file using this configuration. Here, Media Server has been configured to produce a video showing overlays on all of the tracked objects within the scene. Each unique object is given its own color. We are tracking cars, vans, and people. Media service tracking correctly handles occlusions and crossovers. Next, we'll show how Media Server can be easily configured to trigger on rule-based alerts for objects trapped within a video. First, we'll load a video file as the basis of our configuration. Capture a snapshot on which we can define tripwires in regions of interest. We'll define our first alert. We want to capture any kind of vehicle entering the main road from the left-hand side. Having defined the object types we wish to detect, we can now add a rule to define a tripwire. Position the tripwire at the entrance to the main road. And configure the rule to alert when vehicles pass from the left to the right side. Now we'll add a second alert. In this case, looking for people walking along the side of the road. For this alert, we'll define a region of interest in which to trigger. Now we will review the configuration of the underlying detection algorithm, object class recognition. We have the option of running using GPU or just CPU. Here we'll use the default two threads. We'll also define a schedule so that Media Server will only generate alerts on local weekdays. With those alerts set, we're ready to run the analytics. Our first alert is produced, a pedestrian alert. You can see the image of a man walking by the trees. Now we have a vehicle turning alert also produced. We can see a car entering the main road from the left through the tripwire area. If we wait and see the final result, we can also see the forward tracking information of how the car moved into the road after that point. Now that we're happy with these alerts, we can give the configuration a unique name and export it to be run again later.